Oh, this is Dave Painter take two because I forgot to press the record button on the first occasion. But uh, Dave, um, Siblazy Keeper and today uh, temporary caretaker manager, whatever you like to call it. 2-0 uh, defeat at Gates Helston. How do you think it went? Um, yeah, disappointed uh, to say the least. Uh, we, we definitely felt like this game we could get something from, um, you know, despite in spite of all the uh, the barriers with, you know, drafting players in and things. But yeah, it was a game we thought we could definitely get a draw or win from at least. Um, didn't quite pan out that way, so yeah, hugely disappointed to still be without a win. So who took the team talk, you or Danny, before uh, the game? It was Danny actually, yeah. I, I, I drive down from, from Exeter, so I, the traffic around Temple killed me. So yeah, it was definitely yeah, it was Danny today, so we'll mix it up another week, I think. So you've got a long trip home to think about what you're going to say next time. But you're, exactly. you're not available next game, are you? I'm not available <laughs> next game, no, yeah, Witheridge away, local one for me as well. But um, yeah, missing that one, so that'll be, uh, and, and yeah, I'm not 100% sh sure. Uh, if Danny's there either, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that one. But we'll come to that in a minute. But the game itself, uh, three minutes, a goal down. Matty Bucker for Helston. He was allowed to sort of dribble into the box and through a, a host of defenders, and then into, into the corner and that gave you no chance. Yeah, we just kind of yeah came from nothing really. He was out on the wing, and then we just kind of parted, uh, and he was yeah out there. He was through and slotted it away nicely. So yeah, frustrating start, disappointing start. Because we needed to start well. Um, you know, with the team we had as well, with um, having to, you know, a depleted team, so disappointing. Didn't start off us, off us on, the, on the right foot, um, so yeah, not the way we want to start, and it's not the way we've been starting the last few weeks. So disappointed. Yeah, I mean, how have things been going so far this season? I mean, uh, I know you've, you've not won a game yet, but um, when I spoke to Alan a, f a couple of weeks ago, he wasn't too disappointed with the way things were going. You could see you, you know, getting more points than losing. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, because in terms of the squad, when we've got everybody available, we're not that dissimilar to what we were at the back end of last year, so and we picked up some good wins there, so uh, we've, we've had a full of optimism, to be honest, and we drew away that at Exmouth the first game of the season, but since then, we've had a few tough games, yeah, Soltash and Bobman, which we competed, uh, and the score lines maybe didn't quite go, they weren't quite as tight as what we thought they were, um, but yeah, we've been, we've been there, we, we, we're, we're not far off, um, obviously, today, with, with, with people missing, it's been a little bit different, but when we've had people there, we're, we're, we're competing, so I think... In the coming weeks, we'll you know we'll pick up some points. And the second, well, before the first half was over, you did have a good chance of getting back into the game. A penalty, uh, which uh, talk us through how it went. Yeah. Well, where did it go? Oh Christ! Well, that's it. Yeah, I think yeah, I think they're still searching. Get the torches out. I think it's a bit darker. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, penalty. It was a definite penalty, 100%. And um, you thought you know the keeper got sent off, outfield player in goal. You think just hit the corner, keep it low, wet. Uh, you know, an easy one all, but um, didn't quite pan out that way. Smashed it over, so head up. We've already given him a bit, a little bit of stick about it, so we'll forget that one. Yeah. And the second half, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't know what you would have said to the players half time. Well, half time, we just, yeah, we just tried to put it behind us and tried to be positive, as, as positive as we could, really. Um, obviously, we're still well in the game, we're 11 to 10, so we felt like, okay, you know, we could definitely, we felt like they would just sit uh, and, and just protect it. Um, and so we thought, you know, we, we could just get on the ball a bit more, be a bit more composed uh, and, and kind of we'll create a few things. Mm -hmm. uh, it didn't quite pan out that way. I think they're quite solid, to be fair. They're a good, they're, they're a good defensive team, they're big, they're strong, they talk, so hard to break them down. We just didn't quite have that cutting edge to, to create anything, unfortunately. And uh, there was a, a lot of doom and gloom around the, the ground before the kickoff. Uh, suggestions that obviously you did have to bring in a, a host of players. How many second teamers did you play today? Uh, it must be around uh, around five, maybe. Um, so what what's happened to all the other guys so that were playing already? Yeah, well. Al Carey's son, Rob, wasn't available today, I think he was working, um, and the rest of the boys, I think we got a few people away, um, one's a school teacher, so he's on holiday, and the rest of them are working abroad, so um, yeah, so we were a good seven or eight players short of what we would have been, so that's why we had the second team player step up, which was great, uh, and, and they did us proud today, they worked as hard as they could have, and we had a few of the uh, two under 18s with us as well, so yeah, big thanks to them. So all in all, them. circumstances, you must be dare I say a little bit pleased about the way things went only 2-0 yeah in terms of, yeah I did have second half we had an extra player I guess but yeah in terms of we competed we were there you know we didn't they didn't run riot you know with, with, with the team that just got put together at the, with two days notice or one day's notice really mm -hmm. actually um, so yeah I'm pleased in the sense that we competed um, hindsight's a great thing I think we could have maybe we, we could have created a few more things and, and maybe had a bit more of a cutting edge but um, yeah in, in the circumstances you know we, we competed and, and where does it go from here? You, you mentioned you're not available next Saturday. You're not sure whether Danny is. Uh, <coughs> presumably you guys are picking a team for next week. 
Yeah, we'll be picking a team, and we've got a few senior players that are back um, that are kind of they'll they'll kind of take the reins uh, if Danny he can't play. I'm not sure if he can or can't. So um, yeah, if that's the case, we've got a few senior players coming back that they'll take charge. And have the committee sort of given you any clue as to whether there's a manager likely to step in <laughs> quickly or not? Yeah, I'll be speaking to them in the next 10 minutes, put it that way. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, not 100% sure at the minute. Um, they just said on Wednesday, short term, me and Danny, uh, until they kind of, I'm sure they put an adver advertisement out there. If anyone fancies it, then we'll, we'll go from there. But definitely a short term thing for me and Danny. And of course, not the first time you've had to do it. No, exactly. Second time, yeah, it's, yeah, it's become a bit too much of a trend for my liking, <laughs> I think. <laughs> but um, happy to do it. I love the club. You know, I've been here for quite a few years now, so and I'm one of the more senior players. So if it, you know, in times like this, I'm happy to do it. But it's hard work. And you mentioned you're, you're travelling down from Exeter. Why on earth do you come all the way down to Exeter to play for St Blasey? Well, um, well, when I signed for them, I lived in Plymouth, so it wasn't too bad. Right. Um, but the club, you know, I'm, like I said, I love the club. I'm so close to them, the board members, uh, the committee, uh, they're great. You know, they're close to my family as well. So they drove up to my daughter's christening and things like that. So, you know, to, to Exeter. So just a close-knit club, really. So it's worth the drive down. Because you're one of the, uh, the, the more higher-rated keepers in the league. I mean, have you ever had any approaches from other clubs? Um, I you speak to people every now and again, um, but nothing nothing too close to going really at the minute um, purely because of the love of the club really um, so yeah it's kind of it take a lot to lure me away from it at the minute I think <laughs> but only short term as a manager definitely short term as a manager yeah <laughs>